Hey everybody, I'm Matt Murphy, and I'm here at the Ottawa Blues Fest to interview Trevor James of Trevor James and the Perfect Gentleman. Now, he just released his brand new self-titled CD, and behind me, he's signing a few copies. Hope you enjoy the interview. So I'm here with Trevor James, Hamish, and Brian of Trevor James and the Perfect Gentleman. Now we're at the Auto Blues Fest today, and you guys just finished up your set a little while ago. How's it feel to be like on the verge, oh you've just actually done the pre-release for your album, but you're on the verge of just like about to release it, and so after all the time and effort done to the CD, what's the feeling like to actually, now it's out? Uh, I think I think that the the one word that I would have to use is relief because it's been such a long time coming and we've we've gone through. I know Tyson and I, who's not here right now, uh, have been together for like five years. Player? He's the bass player, and uh, we, our band has gone through so many formations, and we have finally found, in my mind, what is the band. Yeah. And uh, we got the, we got Hamish and Brian to come in and record uh, three uh, new tra- two or three new tracks uh, for the record, just in time to get them on the record. And uh, we just gelled so quickly. We've been already you know writing. We, we've got enough material right now to put out another record already. It's been such a shitstorm the last two years, like trying to get it out and trying to get it done. And, and now we have the right people involved. And it's just, I'm so relieved to be able to say that the band right now, like the Perfect Gentleman, it's the best band I've ever been a part of. So we did. I mean, this, you know, doing this as an indie band at this level, at this stage of the game, like, you know, you relish moments like this where you're on good bills, good festivals, good shows, but it's not always that way. You know, we still go out and tour and play pissy, shitty shows. And, you know, like, at the end of the day, if, if you're not able to really kind of uh, take a hit on your lifestyle, your relationships with family, friends, girlfriends, then you're not really cut out for the, the business because it's it's a long road and it's not really the destination, it's the journey. Not now it's kind of, uh, I guess, ironic that sort of, um, like you as a musician, it's become full circle because th- this started out as a singer-songwriter project, right? Yeah. And so now back around... It's kind of like the singer-songwriter project again, with a sort of, I guess, a backup band at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's it, it, like full circle is totally the right way to put it. But I mean, it's not a backup band. Um, if it was a backup band, uh, like they wouldn't be here right now for this interview. <laughs> because like this is just as much their band as it is my band, and that's how I want it to be. Um, this is a team effort. Uh, but it's my songwriting and it's my songs and it's been my baby since I was as young as 12, 13 years old trying to finish high school you know quickly to get the hell out of there and become a musician that's great and um, but no like you know it's Trevor James and the Perfect Gentleman that's the moniker that's the project name but this don't don't confuse it like these guys have just as much of a part to play in the whole thing as I do and uh, the next record will, will prove that um, now it's you guys actually just uh, signed to Pop Culture Records can you tell me how that happened you're mentioning it earlier but um, what was sort of the full story with that uh, well Dan from Pop Culture is uh, you know sort of he's always been kind of a, a friend of mine in, in the music scene uh, he was developing his label as I was developing my my craft you know what I mean and I, he kind of watched me grow as I watched that label grow and he sort of said to me like what you have here is great and I'd love to be a part of it and that was it and then when uh, the architects kind of reformed and then travel by owl sort of fell apart and became this he stuck with us through the all the transition uh, you know all the transitionary periods and I can't thank them enough. They were really fair to us, and uh, they just said, "Look, like, prove to us that your your sound, mind and body, is a project, and you're you're ready to to give it hell, and you're, we're still with you." So we managed to keep our relationship with them, and and then uh, you have the album. So, well, actually, I've known Trevor since high school. Uh, we were in a band back in the day called the Bitter Strings. That's a pretty much how we first met. Yeah, actually, with Dan Hay from the Fully Dan as well was in that band. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, yeah, Danny was the guitar player. Yeah. So uh, big long golden hair. Yeah. Well, actually, he had short geeky hair back then. Really? He did, and, and glasses. And little nerdy glasses. <laughs> Seriously. He was still so cool. You, Danny. He was still cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I guess the point is, is that you know I've always I've always admired his writing style, and we've talked in between for years. And uh, I guess an opportunity sort of came up when when uh, Travel by Owl I guess met its end, and we actually started talking and. I said that I wanted to be involved, and here I am. So uh, it's good to be back playing with Trevor, to be honest. And, and Hamish and Tyson, even though they're, they're new. I mean, but they're newbies. Yeah, they're newbies. Brian and I have a history. Yeah? A good history? A long history. See, Brian and I were in a band, and I was really young, and he was really old. He was, he was, he was, he was like 22. 
<laughs> you were 18. <laughs> when I was oh 18. my god! Yeah. It was such a, but it's amazing. I always remember being like, oh, he's so old. The 22? No, 24. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, again, full circle. He's back playing with this project, and it, I couldn't ask for better players right now. It's, it's, it's actually great that you guys are still, like, um, it's not kind of the musicians that you grew up with, and now full back around, you're still playing with them. It's, it's a cool great. thing. It's a cool thing. Uh, and uh, I, I'm from Nova Scotia. I moved here a couple years ago, and I met Trev uh, downtown at a at a show of his at the Architects, and I really loved it. And I went up and talked to him after, and we kind of just like talked on MySpace and stuff. Like I'd be like, "Hey, dude, we're playing here. Come come check us out." And we were hanging out one night, and he was like, "Yeah, would you like to come play drums sometime for me? Like just come hang out and play drums." I was like, "Sure, whatever. I don't have anything to do." <laughs> and. Um, so I went out and played drums and I was horrible. And so then, so so then he he's, calls, he's so, being hard on himself. So then, he, so then he calls up, so then he calls up Brian, which was a way better, way better choice. And this is at the time I was in DC uh, on Christmas vacation at the time. And I was like, well, dude, okay, you're not gonna have me play drums for you. Why don't can I play guitar? And he's like, well, fine, I guess you can come out to a practice. We'll see how it goes. And then we went to one practice, and uh, so then I became the guitar I think, player. After I think that. I think I actually more convinced him to be my guitar player because he lacked the confidence that he should have had because I said he, he's kind of a multi-instrumentalist you know, he's, he also plays keyboards in our band and, and Fender Rhodes and whatever and uh, he played bass with the Waters Brothers so it's like well you can play guitar right and he's like well I don't know and I'm like come out and then we ended up writing Country Shuffle which is the last track on this record and he wrote this fucking killer guitar solo in the bridge and I was like dude like why are you not playing guitar for me <laughs> and that was it that was how it went down and just to let everyone know September 6th at the Babylon nightclub That's it's it. you guys and another band um, with members of the Tears. yeah What's we've got a band called uh, Black Diamond Bay opening up our CD release on September 6th at Babylon it's a Saturday night Black Diamond Bay is comprised of uh, a few different members from the Deers uh, that night I was just informed that we, we might be being graced with a couple members from the Stills as well on uh, trumpets and horns and stuff so it's gonna be a really fun night and, uh, and honestly you gotta be there like it's gonna be some great music and uh, I don't want to say the Ottawa band that might be, I want to say the Ottawa band that might be opening but I haven't heard uh, confirmation yet so I won't For sure. but there'll be some there'll be three it'll be a three band bill there'll be a great Ottawa opener there'll be Black Diamond Bay from Montreal X Deers Stills and then us Great. Well, thanks so much, guys, for doing this interview. Yeah, man, September sixth, the record comes out. So be there at Babylon, September sixth. Be there. Yeah. Thanks so much, Thank Trevor. You. Cheers. Thanks so much, Josh. Thanks for filming. <laughs> it was great.